the slam dunk. Perhaps the greatest crowd pleaser in the game of basketball. What started out many years ago as just a high percentage shot has now evolved into a blazing form of self-expression where every player has the freedom to write his name in the sky. In 1976, at McNichols Arena in Denver, Colorado, basketball's acrobats gathered for the first ever slam dunk contest. was crowned slam dunk champion on that fabled day in 1976 and now eight years later both Julius Irving and the slam dunk contest have returned to Denver as the doctor must defend his championship against a new generation of Skywalkers in the first round every contestant was allotted three attempts and Edgar Jones of the San Antonio Spurs and Orlando Woolridge of the Chicago Bulls made spectacular slam dunks, but their overall scoring could not compare with guys like these. Griffin. Wilkins. Nance. Irving. These four advanced to the second round. That's when things got really serious. Judges give 49 of a possible 50 points. Now it was the doctor's turn. Julius Irving and Larry Nance were in the finals, and the doctor knew he could use all the help he could get against a guy like Nance. That's when he brought in some special advisors. strategy was set. Good job, babe. Good job. Irving's chances for repeating as champion were almost impossible now, but the doctor still had one attempt left. And with that in mind, Julius Irving got ready to take the fans in Denver on a nostalgic journey back in time. The doctor pulled off the only perfect score of the day. And although it would not be enough to win, his fan club was very satisfied. Larry Nance put the icing on the cake. And the dethroned champion was as gracious as ever. Larry Nance, the new king of the slam dunk. Might as well jump.